didn't find anything. They searched his phone. They found a picture of him holding it like this. Well, when they found out he found it, they um, asked him where it was. He said, I didn't want to get caught with it. I went and threw it in the river to get rid of it. Uh, so he got nine months of jail time, uh, a whole bunch of fines, and had to pay for five different dive teams to go search the river for the dinosaur trap. They never found it, but uh, that's why this is here, just to show because that was the dino track when it was in the ground still. He came up here, cut it out, chipped it out. But we can walk over here. Look, some ones that are still in the ground. <laughs> A little hard to see to start, but right here, you've got one toe, two toe, three toe, one toe, two toe, three toe. These guys were about three feet tall, six feet long, and they were basically a turkey. What he ran over. So this is this is mudstone what we're currently standing on. So at one point it was the sand, and then the mud came in and mixed with it, which is why there's dinosaur tracks. And we can come this way a little bit. You can see the start of a foot. Here's one toe, two toe, third toe is probably underneath this slab. toed ones that are basically a turkey that's about 30 million years before the t-rex ancestors so each layer is about 30 million years apart from each other all in the timing too because they had a step on it just when it was in the right consistency to that the, uh, underneath was hard enough to keep it 